everybody welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here welcome so today i'm doing just like a just daylight makeup like i don't normally just film i have a ring light and i normally film with that but like right now i'm just sitting in front of the window and i kind of like this lighting so i'm just going to do a quick like daytime look um as you can see i'm already baking and everything so my face is completely done i'm just doing eyeshadow so i'm going to use this pure cosmetics festival palette this palette is currently one of my favorites because all of all the like the sandy brown colors i really like the way those colors are looking with my new hair so that's what i've been using a lot lately so i'm going to go into this color epic right here and use this as a transition shade for my crease So next with a different brush, I'm going to go into the color Hidden Desert right here and start to build on my crease. And with the first brush I used, I'm going to go back in to kind of blend those two colors together. And to deepen up that crease even more, I'm going to go into this color All Night. Then I'm going to go back in with my second brush and just blend those together. Now I'm gonna go in and cut my crease. I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Concealer. Y'all, it's been a minute since I've done a cut crease. That actually took me way longer than I expected. So now I'm going to go into my ColourPop Chasing Rainbows palette and use this shade right here, this Wiggles. After I've got that shade packed on top of my lid, I'm gonna go back in with these two colors. This one first and then this one to kind of blend, to start blending the, the sides in to the crease. Now I know I said this is my like get ready for work look, but this is actually not something I would normally do for work. This look has definitely taken a turn that I was not expecting. So I'm gonna take a break from the eyes for a second and go ahead and get this baking, <laughs> baking powder, the setting powder off of my face. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go in with my Sugar Cosmetics eyeliner and do my waterline. And then for right underneath that, I'm going to go with this shade first and then this one with a smudge brush underneath my eyelashes. I'm gonna use this Too Faced um, Better Than Sex Mascara. So if you wanted to add lashes, I'm sure it would look way more dramatic. I just really don't have time for that today. <laughs> I spent all my time doing that. I spent all my time doing that cut crease that I was not planning on doing. So now I'm gonna use the Alamara Cosmetics. Sorry, nose itching. Um, the blush. And I like both of the darker shades, so I just kind of mix them together. You know what, change my mind. I think I will add lashes. I have a snug break in between the lashes. It's hard work. Okay, so for highlighter, I'm going to go into my Makeup Revolution Highlighter Kit, and I'm going to use this color right here. Now, after I put the highlighter on my brush, I like to spray my brush with the setting spray. I just feel like it gives it more, I don't know more drama I like doing my makeup like in front of the sunlight because you can see like how popping you're about to be <laughs> when you go outside so I'm gonna spray the rest of my face with the setting spray and the one I'm using is the morphe continuing 
continuous setting mist i really like this one because it comes out like a mist instead of like you know like water drops like just hitting your face for lips i'm going to be using a combination th of things first i'm going to use this nyx whipped wonderland in the color fudge it i really love this one because it makes your lips feel super soft and then i'm going to go in with this ofra this lip topper you see how pretty that is mm. i got this in my ipsy bag ipsy is coming hard y'all like Ipsy used to be like my least favorite thing and now they have been like giving me all kinds of great stuff so I'm just gonna keep them. These subscription services, I mean sometimes they do good and sometimes they just suck but lately I feel like their competition is bigger with Boxy Charm. now they gotta come harder than what they usually do. Next, I'm going to go in with that lip topper. Just going to put this in the center because that's a little much. It is very pretty, but it is a lot. So, so now I'm going to change clothes for the day so I can be looking cute. Okay, you guys, so this is my final look. You know, whenever you do your makeup in the sunlight, you can see like a lot more flaws than what you would normally be able to see. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope this look was easy enough for you to recreate. I would suggest this as a daytime look because, you know, as I'm looking at it, like it's still pretty daytime, even though it was a lot more work than what I was intentionally trying to do at the beginning. But overall, I like it. It's pretty cute. So you will see my face in the next video.